What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we uh, start, please, please, please hit that like button and please leave your comments below because that's how the algorithm works. And if you like the program, please subscribe to the channel. So let's get into this. Guys, I've been talking about uh, Russia, uh, oil, Iran, um, prices, how everything's been you know, just so screwed up with this administration and how everybody, everybody on the east side, meaning the Asian countries, Middle East, hate the West. Hate the West. They have no respect for the West anymore. And that includes Europe, that includes the United States, because this past two years just been horrible. Horrible. So, we all saw the gas prices go up like crazy uh currently right now in california in some spots gas is seven dollars a gallon for regular seven dollars uh now they say it's due to uh, a refinery going down or whatever it was it was a supply issue or it is a supply issue whatever the hell that is you know it's just an excuse the gas should not be seven dollars a gallon this is this is ridiculous in virginia now it's three dollars and fifty cents so it's a Three three and a half dollar difference between the two, but it's gonna about it's about to get worse. And you ask why? Well, because of OPEC. OPEC is majority made out of Arab countries, Arab members, and OPEC now is siding with Russia, <laughs> which I've been saying this for a while that this war between Russia and Ukraine it's a regional war let them figure it out if they were if the west had have just stepped away and let them come to a solution we would not be having this issue right now but you know democrats live uh, they they love war they just pulled out of Afghanistan so they need another thing to start so Ukraine was the next best thing um but let's get into the story because this is going to be interesting for everybody because we're all going to suffer out of this. So, uh, in rebuke to the West, to West, OPEC and Russia aim to raise oil prices with big supply cut. Of course. Um, Saudi Arabia and Russia, acting as leaders of the OPEC plus energy cartel, agreed on Wednesday to their first large production cut in more than two years in a bid to raise prices. Countries effort by the United States and Europe to choke off the enormous revenue that Moscow reaps from the sale of crude. President Biden and European leaders have urged more oil production to ease gasoline prices and punish Moscow for its aggression in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, has been accused of using energy as a weapon against countries opposing its invasion of Ukraine. And the optic of the decision could not be missed well also don't forget don't forget the pipelines don't forget the pipelines that were that, that blew up we all know because our president said it jb that the nordic pipelines one and two will be shut well he said number two will be shut down if russia invades ukraine so the act of sabotage is done. We all know Russia wouldn't have done this because that's their source of revenue. Why the hell would anybody sabotage a source of revenue? I don't think Russia has any intention of using nuclear weapon because of this, but now he's being forced to, I guess. The White House was not happy. The president is disappointed by the short-sighted decision by OPEC plus to cut production codes, quotas while the global economy is dealing with the continued negative impact of Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Brian Deese, the director of the National Economic Council, and Jake Sullivan, oh God, I can't stand that guy, the National Security Advisor said in a statement, the cut of 2 million barrels a day uh, represents about 2% of global oil production. By reducing output, OPEC Plus was also seeking to make a statement to energy market about the group's cohesion during the Ukraine war and its willingness to act quickly to defend price al analysts. Say, you know what? Screw these analysts. They don't know crap. I'll give you my analysis. Um, Gas prices are gonna increase now. What is it? What the option? What are the options of this administration? 
uh, it could do what the last administration did, administration did, be energy independent. But no. I had this discussion with a colleague of mine today. We're going back and forth on uh, how this administration can respond to this to keep the gas prices down. I said... You know, they should go in energy independent, but they can't because it'll go against their base. It'll go against their voters because their voters are the climate crazies. So if you go in energy independent, that means you have to pump oil. That means you got to burn oil. You got to use fossil fuel to keep the gas prices low or whatever you need to do, right? And that's against everything they stand for, specifically AOC. And what that means is they either have to give the finger to their base, which I doubt they will do because they're already hurting with all the stupid policies that they have put in place or get the gas prices back up. That's the only solution they got. I've said this many times, many, many times. Our number one enemy is China. Our number one enemy is China. We are allied with the wrong countries. The Western countries, the European countries are more, the, I should say the liberal European countries are the cancer of this world. They are the ones causing all this crap. We saw just what happened in Italy. Italy said, screw this, we're done with it. They, they elected a, a, a conservative prime minister. And we're going to see this trend happening over and over again until entire Europe has changed course. Their ideology, which seeps into the United States daily, has ruined, ruined the world. And, you know, uh, it's to a point that it's atheism is becoming a thing. They are they bash religion constantly. Constantly, religion is bashed. Constantly. Just the other day, I saw a video of kids kicking around a Bible. I will do another. I will do a video about that. But I just want to give you a little, um, a little uh, uh, visual. But you know, I I I I've had this discussion with my colleagues at work, and I keep telling them. I said, look, Saudi is gonna screw United States. Saudi is going to screw the entire West. What's going to happen is going to be the war against uh, is going to be the war of East versus West. But the problem is who has the most energy? Who has all the energy? The East. Take a straight line from Russia, Iran, Saudi Arabia and go to the East side. They have most of the energy. They have most of the oil and they are not our friends. And they actually have Venezuela. Venezuela is not on our sides. Venezuela is a sanctioned country because, you know, they're they're under a dictatorship. So, um, I don't know, guys. Uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. But I believe, I believe this is not going to end up well. I believe this is going to be terrible for everybody. The prices are going to be going up. Uh, everyone's going to even hurt even more because the economy is going to be crashing. Um, the only way to go around this is basically devalue the dollar as much as we can to keep the prices low, but that's not going to solve the energy problem. Uh, gas prices are going to be going skyrocket high and people are going to hurt even more than they are hurting now. We, we sort of kind of recovered just a little bit, but it's not enough. It wasn't enough to get to where we at. So, uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, also hit the like button to help with the algorithm because this is the only way that we could get these videos out and, you know, people listen to, you know, what's going on in the world because this never makes it to the news. This will not make it to the news, uh, the cable news, because this is, uh, this is not of interest for the left side or the liberals because this will, uh, this will basically push United States to be, to become energy independent and start selling oil to the European countries. Anyways, peace out.